so something slightly different today for a change knife review um, I hope you all had a good Christmas and everything and you know got some stuff you wanted uh, this is something that I got and something that I'd wanted um, I went into Cathalon and I saw these so I got Mike one and then I thought I want one of these so I asked her to get me one and I also asked Luke to get me another one um, and it's basically uh, I suppose a competitor or an alternative to a Mora knife I've got a Mora knife here to um, show as a comparison in a minute but the price on these in the Cathalon when I got it was £7.99 so that's easily you know a competitor, competitor to Mora knives for that price Um, so it's actually called a Seeker 100 Grip. Hopefully you can see that. See that little bit just there? Seeker 100 Grip is the name. So if you're going to search for it online, search for that. On the back it says Knife Seeker 100 Grip Green. So like I said, if you're going to search for it, search for one of them too. Um... So a couple of good points. I'll show you the actual knife because I've got one out of the packet. Um, it says 10 centimeter or 3.94 inch blade, 2.5 millimeter thick blade, 11 degree. Must be bevel on the blade. It's a Scandi grind blade, and 5 CR15 stainless steel blade. Uh, and one other thing, if this is correct, which is a really good plus on these, is if you can see that there, according to that, it's got near enough a full tang. Or a full stick tang. If that's, if that's correct, then that's pretty decent, really. So I'll show you the knife now. So that's it there. It comes already with these lanyards on it, as you can see there. And a lanyard hole, so you haven't got to drill them in like you do the um, Moras. It's quite a nice compact small knife. Drain hole at the end there. Um, locks in decent, but is a little bit hard to get out at first. You kind of feel like, you know, like it could have been a bit easier kind of clips in by this so that's the knife there Scandi grind blade like I said and this is it feels not quite as rubberized as the Mora's but it definitely it's not you know it's definitely soft if you know what I mean the only thing I would say is these two corner edges on the back of the handle are quite, well not sharp, but you know what I mean, like the front part here is nice and rounded. These aren't rounded, so I don't know if you'd want to modify it by just slightly sanding these parts. And the only other thing I might do is this part here. I might just sand that over a little bit, maybe. I'll keep one completely normal, maybe sand the other one. Uh, another thing is... The back of the spines on these are already finished, good enough to use with a ferro rod. Yeah, and these are stainless steel, not um, not high carbon steel. But I've got a car, I've got a high stainless steel Mora, and I like it. So I'll show you a comparison to a Mora, just a standard, you know, um, a Mora clipper. It's quite a popular one. So now the sheaths. Funny enough, the sheath is actually much smaller on the Seeker 100. Oh, and also, sorry about the name. Also, Solonac. So Solonac Seeker 100. Um, the sheath is much smaller, but then less of the knife goes in, whereas the more half the handle goes in. 
Whereas the other one, just for, you know, the blade and a small portion of the handle goes in. But they've both got, you know, pretty much the same size belt clips. Um, the Solenac or the Seeker 100 doesn't have the belt, um, the button loop on it. But then not a lot of people use that anyway. It's a pretty good colour if you're into bushcraft already, you know, dark green, olive green, whatever. So there's your blades. Pretty much the same shape, except for this one, I think is a little bit more pointed. Just a little bit. And they're roughly about the same size. Handles. Near enough the same size. Uh, more, uh, uh, even the fat, even the thickness of the handles are about the same. I reckon that could definitely be a good contender for a Mora knife. Um, like I said, though, stainless steel. You know, if you really, really love carbon steel, I don't know whether they do a carbon steel version of this, but as you can see, you know, that's carbon steel. That's going all dirty and. You, got, you know, you've got to look after carbon steel. Or stainless steel. You know, obviously I haven't took this out yet. But, you know, you know what car, um, stainless steel is like. It's not going to go like that in a hurry. Yes, yeah, so it's got some good plus points, it seems, so far already. Like I said, I've called this a review, but it's not really. It's more of an overview video. Um, and more of a comparison. Like I said, at least you haven't got to start drilling lanyard holes already. And the back of your spine is already for the um, ferro rod. I might make a Kydex sheath for this one, maybe. Weight-wise, I can't tell you. They feel about the same. I don't know whether it has the weight on here. But neither of them are going to weigh much, if you know what I mean. If weight really is a thing for you, let me know and I'll see if I can... Um, find some scales and I'll weigh it as a comparison to the other one but you know that feels about the same to me so yeah Solenac Seeker 100 knife I think that'd definitely be a contender or an alternative to a Mora knife um, the Mora knife does have a nicer grip in all you know, in all honesty, that's a nice grip on that. I think with a little bit of modification, maybe just a little bit of sand in there and on these back bits, that'll be just as good. And like I said, it doesn't look it, but it's slightly rubberized. I can feel it. Right, anyway, that's that. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.